back. Today's episode, we're going to be working on making your own natural throat spray. So what we've got in our kit that you may have seen and purchased um, is everything we're going to need to start making our own natural throat spray. So let's take a look and see what we've got. First and foremost, our instructions on how to make your throat spray if you're not watching the video. Next we have two ounce bag of marshmallow root which is a perennial in our area so it's the root that we're going to be using and the main uh, use and benefits of this herb is that it is a demulcent. So a demulcent is, um, is an herb that creates a really soothing and mucilaginous mixture or liquid. So when you add this to water, it creates a very slimy effect, which is going to be great when you have a really scratchy, irritated throat. So it really helps to soothe the throat. It helps if you have mouth ulcers of any sort. It helps to, to soothe the inflammation there. Also helps with your gut health if you have any ulcers or things going on. It just really helps to soothe the intestinal tract. So it's a really great herb to have growing out in your garden or around and to dry and have the, the root year round. In the kit we also have 10 milliliters of peppermint oil. So the peppermint oil is going to, um, when added to our uh, mixture here, it's going to really help soothe the throat as well because it's going to have a cooling effect. So when you're coughing a lot and you have a really scratchy throat, this is going to help to really cool down the heat that you've created from all that friction from all the coughing. So it'll, it'll just be nice, instant, soothing feeling to your throat. Um, so since you're not going to be using this whole bottle in this, um, in this round here that we're going to be making, you can use the peppermint oil in other ways as well. You can put a couple of dabs on your temples if you have a really bad headache. Um, so just rubbing that into your temples and just breathing that in, keeping your eyes closed and breathing it in um, really helps to bring down a headache. Um, you can also add it to your bath or your shower and just breathe in the menthol and it helps to open up the sinuses. So. Peppermint oil is a really great oil to have in your medicine cabinet as well. Um, included we in the kit, we also have a two ounce spray bottle that has already been labeled with all of the ingredients that you're going to be putting into this throat spray. So that way, when you go to take it out of the refrigerator, you're not, you know, second guessing, what did I put in there? So uh, very important to have a labeled um, bottle whatever mixture it is you're making so that comes included and lastly we have two ounces of um, local honey from here in Hillsboro um, actually it's up in New Vienna so it's about 10 minutes away but it's still a good very sweet um, local raw honey so um, and the honey is going to be uh, a very important factor in soothing our throat as well so um, you know all of this is just really great ingredients for the throat a natural spray tastes yummy because this will help sweeten it up um, so it'll be a nice sweet pepperminty um, spray kids even <laughs> approve of it I tested it on my children they like it so that's good and they're very picky um, so uh, and it'll also help act as a preservative um, for mixture when we're done, you know, with everything as well. So, with all of that said, let's go ahead and get to assembling our product. So, what we're going to do, I have been letting this, um, I've poured in here the two ounces of marshmallow root, and I've poured in 16 ounces of fresh water. So, I have used distilled water here. That is um, a really great source to use. Distilled water is probably one of the um, top you know, three selections to use because it's completely pure. Um, it's got all of the minerals and everything taken out of it, so um, it will stay 
the freshest, the longest, because it doesn't have any other thing to interact with it. So um, it's really good when you're using it for you know different medicines and things like that. Spring water is fine to use, but it will have the minerals and um, stuff like that in it. Um, I would just stay away from your tap water because it's got the chlorine and fluoride and whatever else they put in there. So, um, but if you have a good well water, you can do that or reverse osmosis, you know, whichever you need to do, just a good clean source of water. So two ounces of the marshmallow root, 16 ounces of water. We're going to let that soak overnight um, or at least six hours. So you really want to get that infusion going on um, and letting it soak. So since we're not using hot water, because we don't want to break down that slimy material, we just want to use a nice room temperature water um, and let that you know infuse in, into the water. So once you've let that soak overnight, we're going to go ahead and strain out the marshmallow root. So I've got a, a cheesecloth liner here over a strainer. So we're going to just go ahead and dump that out into there. And by now our water is going to be nice and brown and really thick and soothing and slimy. So probably doesn't sound the most appealing, but when you when you spray it on your throat and you feel it, then you'll know that you've done the right thing for your body and for your throat. So it's really good for you. Okay, so we'll set that aside. And in here, um, I've got a, a separate little container here of about one ounce of some really pretty warm um, water because what I want to do is take the two ounces of the honey that we've got provided there and mix it in with the warm water give it some stirs and really just let that dissolve so we don't really want to use hot water, um, you know, like super hot water, but just a nice warm water to where we can get it to sort of break down just a little bit and, you know, be a little, um, a little easier to work with so it doesn't just clump to the bottom of our mixture here. So giving that a nice stir so we've got it, you know, more liquefied. And then just go ahead and Pour that in to the rest of the marshmallow there, the marshmallow water, and give that a nice stir as well. And then we will get our peppermint oil. And we're going to put about 20 drops in there. All right. 20 drops. And so you have plenty left over. You want to make other batches or do other things with it, whatever you want to do. Peppermint oil is also really great for an upset stomach. So a couple drops of peppermint oil and with some hot water and some honey will do your wonders. Okay. And here we have our honey marshmallow and peppermint oil. Taking our container here, a little spray bottle. I have a little funnel that I'm going to be using and just place it there. And filling up our bottle. And there you have it, your very own natural throat spray. Tastes great, um, spray it on as often as you need to, keep it with you, um, and you'll just feel that instant cooling relief. Now, um, I would go ahead and write the date on the side right here of when you mix this up. 
um, or when you put it, put that one in here. And then with the rest of what you have, you can go ahead and pour that back into your jar. Okay. So you'll have some left over um, and put your lid back on. And go ahead and put a, a piece of tape on here and write the date of when you made it so that way you know when you made this as well. So this will be good in your refrigerator for up to three months. So it'll last you for quite a while. And um, so store it in your refrigerator, fill up your bottle as needed, and you got it. So I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, you can always get a hold of us at our website at healingnaturallybynature.com. And thanks for watching. Bye.